Thermometric property, the property of an object that is going to change with the temperature. This is known as the thermometric property. So, we have different thermometric properties like uh, pressure of a gas at constant volume. So, when the volume is constant, then P1 by T1 equal to P2 by T2, this is equal to constant, say, say some constant. This Pt is given by P0, 1 plus T by 273, and T is also given uh, by, we can just rearrange this, Pt minus P0 by P100 minus P0 into 100 degree centigrade. This here, this P100 is what? The pressure of a gas at constant volume, 100 degree centigrade. This is P0, this is the pressure of gas at constant volume at uh, 0 degree this P0 and Pt is of course the pressure of a gas at T means constant volume at T degree centigrade. The constant volume of uh, a constant volume gas thermometer can measure temperature from this range to this range. When then we have electric resistance of met, uh, metals this is also one of the thermometric property. So, Rt equal to R0 1 plus alpha T beta, beta T square. So, this alpha and beta are the constants for a metal. This beta is very small, too small. So, we can say take this Rt equal to R0, 1 plus alpha T. If this is very small, so this can be taken as 0. Where alpha was the temperature coefficient of resistance and R0 and Rt, these are the electrical resistance at 0 degree and T degree. Alpha is R2 minus R1 by R1 T2 minus R2 T1. This R1 and R2 these are the electrical resistances at temperature T1 and T2. Then this T is given by RT minus R0 by R100 minus R0 into 100. Now this R100 is the resistance at 100 degree centigrade. The platinum resistance thermometer, this can measure temperature from uh, this range to this range. Then the length of mercury column in a capillary tube, this is given by LT equal to L0 1 plus alpha T. Here the alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion, this L0 or L sub 0 and L sub t, these are the length of mercury column at 0 degree and t degree centigrade. 